All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue or try to continue the GM mode commentary with the Arizona Coyotes. And the reason I say try to continue is because I have to put the question by you guys, all right? This episode is going to be much shorter than a normal episode just because um, I ran into a few problems with GM mode. Yesterday when I released those videos for you guys, you know, I was experiencing these new game modes for the first time with you guys, right? So I didn't know what to expect. But when I uploaded those videos and then I played the game last night, you know, for a few hours, I realized that, uh, you know, some of the series that I've done in the past, if I try to do them the exact same way in NHL 15, they're just not going to work out. Be a pro is one of them because of the whole simulating on the bench. You literally have to wait for your next shift. I know you can press B to get back out there. My whole point is that you don't have realistic stats because of that now, right? And in GM mode, they've taken out two major things that made my GM mode commentaries in the past, all right? And I I didn't know about this. The first thing is that there is officially no draft in GM mode in NHL 15. Uh, last night I was the Toronto Maple Leafs and uh, in season one I did not make the playoffs at the draft deadline or the uh, the trade deadline sorry. I made a couple trades and I picked up two first round picks right. Not the greatest picks but I, I was going into the draft with three first round picks. I got up to the draft and it automatically drafts for you. So you have no control over it right. You can't even make trades at the draft day you get up to the draft and it just says simulate up to resign stage so i did that and my gm or my assistant gm drafted three goaltenders all three of my first round picks were all goaltenders right it just it completely sucked the building aspect out of gm mode so i don't even really want to go ahead with the arizona coyotes um now that's something small right because they actually have released a update i think it was rammer who said that uh um, in a content update or a patch, they would be putting a draft in, but like, is that going to be on the first day? Is that going to be a week after release, a month after release? Is that going to come around December? Is that going to be like the GTA heists that don't come out, right? So I don't want to cancel the Arizona Coyotes uh, GM mode commentary. I think I want to put it on hold because I we need the draft. We need the draft, right? The draft is huge. And also another thing that is massive, uh, I'll just go to calendar here for you guys, right? This is something that really, you know, it's just, it's just not going to work out for GM mode. Um, I'm just going to simulate up ahead here. Don't worry, we're not going to actually do anything in this video. Video, so I can easily go back if you guys still want me to do it a year or two in this one I can All right, but watch say we say this is a playoff game right now right with my old school playoff format I would go into the game and watch the simulation you can no longer do that so say this game against the Winnipeg Jets is a playoff game round number one you click on it simulate game watch this and wait, wait, wait. I thought it'd be a little bit quicker than that and simulated all right that's it so that's that's what our playoff games would be like, right? You can't you can't watch to see who scored first and which line is producing. You can't even click on that game to see who scored all those four goals for you. There's no way of taking a look at that game what the stats were. You have to manually go into your uh, like your contracts and follow your player stats game for game to keep up with it. So it just my GM mode series is not going to be the same with these two changes. With there being no draft and also not being able to simulate in the game, it, it, it's, it's not the same. It's not the GM mode. I could do a year for you guys just to do it, but I'd rather do the GM mode with the Arizona Coyotes in NHL 15 for the Xbox 360. Sure, it's going to look similar, but it works, all right? And... With this GM mode, you know, I'm I'm really not uh, I'm really not impressed. I think it's exactly the same as NHL 14. It just the presentation is different. I'll just simulate ahead here. Um, I commented in the last video that the simulation engine seemed a little bit quicker. Uh, I was wrong. That was just because there was no games. You can see. So this is what our GM mode commentary would be. I'd be simulating from this screen, and you notice it doesn't even show the leaders for your scorers. Like I can't even see the top goal scorer, the top assist guy, plus minus my goaltender. It shows my record in the bottom right right but that's it so this is what we'd be doing basically the whole time i'd be talking about you know oh we lost three games in a row next game against the st louis blues hopefully our leading goal scorer who i don't know who that is right now can show up you know it's just it's not the same and i don't know i think it does take a little bit is this taking longer i don't know all right, so my idea, don't worry, I'm not just making a video just to make a video with you guys. I have I have, um, I have, have a fix for this, right? So what I want to do, this is an idea. So this whole video is just, I'm putting this to you guys. I want to hear your comments. I want to split up my series over NHL 15 on Xbox One 
and Xbox 360. Now, what I was thinking is, for the Xbox 360 version, we can continue to do EASHL, which me and the Superb Men are going to continue. Um, I can do the simulation GM mode on the Xbox 360 version. We can start up with the Arizona Coyotes, right? I can also bring back Live the Life on the Xbox 360 version, and also the shootout commentary. So I can have four series going, or, you know, a handful of those four, maybe one or two or three, who knows? But I can have four possible series going on NHL 15 on the 360 version, right? And then then on this on NHL 15 on Xbox One because I still want to play this game I can do the hockey ultimate team I can do a gameplay GM mode where we only play one year but I can pick a team like the Toronto Maple Leafs and play a season but play every game the first the second the third period and make trades along the season and leave injuries on so we can still do the GM mode in Xbox one like right now but I would play every game instead of simulating so once we get to the playoffs it would be fine because I'd play the game and then once we get to the draft we end the series because a full season 82 games is 82 episodes right there plus the playoffs if we make the playoffs right so I could do the gameplay GM mode on Xbox one the simulation GM mode on Xbox 360 and also with the Xbox one the live moments Right, so you got three possible for Xbox One, four possible for 360. Xbox One, Hockey Ultimate Team, Gameplay GM Mode and Live Moments, 360, EASHL, Sim GM Mode, Live the Life, and Shootout Commentary. I want to put that to you guys because I don't want to go any farther with this. It's just not going to be the same. Once the, uh, the shininess of the new game wears off, this GM Mode Commentary will be a lot a lot less than the uh, the GM mode commentary for the 360. All right, so I want to hear your opinions about that. We have seven possible series split up over two games here. I want to hear which ones you guys are interested in. If uh, you want to see them all, uh, maybe we can do that. But uh, yeah, I want to I want to hear from you guys. All right, so let me know. I'm very disappointed. Yes, just like you guys, very disappointed, somewhat angry as well. But we got to figure a way around this. All right, so let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.